So, you know, just kind of think that it's just kind of crazy. I don't know. I listen to some people and goodness. I swear it seems like some people are losing their minds. Like, I mean, it's kind of weird. Like, the, you see the channels that get messed with. And they're just, like, really, really just fucking giving mad truth and just on it. And then you have some other people that, you know, throw out some good stuff. And then you come along their damn channel. And you're like, all of a sudden they made a video and I, I laugh. I wonder, like, is this what people think of me sometimes? But, like, you come across their channel and you hear a video that they make and you're just like... Um, um, did this mofo finally lose his motherfucking mind? Because I, you know, I've got to admit, if there was any way, the best possible way to actually, you know, if they were trying to make us lose our minds, is for us to come to see reality for what it truly is. And the rest of the world is sitting there with their thumb up their ass and two pinkies in their ear. And uh, they ain't heard shit. They don't know shit. and They ain't felt shit. It's, um, it, it's just amazing. I, like, if you were going to drive, like, seriously, I wonder if that's why everything that has happened to me and everything that I've dealt with in my life that I'm pretty sure would have drove 90% of the population if they had went through my lifetime insane and just want to hate the world. And in some freaking crazy damn freaking way, literally, just (laughs) couldn't do it. And I, I really, I'm coming to this understanding that I think that that's what it was. That, like, the reason that society put us through what we went through and did everything in the whole world that they did to us. Oh, yes. Not kebab. Now stew. Um, but everything that this world did to us, society did to us. To literally make us go 5150. You know, all of us ones that uh, have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, the mind to understand, and the heart to accept. They, uh, I'm telling you, they 100% did not expect us to be who we are. And no way did they expect us to be able to not lose our minds. Because to come to find the truth that we know and not lose your damn mind, you, you got to understand, you, you're you a special person. And I don't mean that in a fucked up way. I, I remember my woodshop teacher. You say, if somebody do something stupid, you'd be like, you are a smart individual. That was his way of calling you a complete fucking idiot moron without getting in trouble from, you know, school board and stuff. I, I, we always thought it was hilarious because, you know, if you got called that, you're like, oh, shit. But I'm going to use that in a little bit different of a way. You got to understand, like... Most of society thinks that we're freaking crackpot morons. And, you know, for all of us, you know, that have come out and just been like, hey, I believe this, this is what's going on, blah, 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 whatever truth that you've found in this world. When you come to that and you finally actually, you know, are willing to explain it, trust me, the biggest truth that I ever came across in my freaking life It took me, I'm pretty sure about a week and a half, if not like two weeks, before I even uttered the words of what I came to find to anybody that I knew, especially the people close to me. And 
it's just, man, once you can realize that it does not matter what anybody else thinks, and you don't really give a fuck about losing any friends, this, that, or the other thing, because, seriously, if you do some real damn research, and you find some real damn truth that you come to feel to be real and true, and you tell it to any friend that you have, and they laugh at you, that's okay. That's what friends are supposed to do. But then when you sit back and you actually explain to them, like, hey, look, I found this, this, this. You know, give me ten minutes. Give me a half an hour. Let me show you this. And they and they are, like, looking at you like, yeah, fuck you. I won't even do that. No, no. All right, no, thanks. Anybody that you've ever considered that you thought was a friend that wouldn't even give you that 10, 20, 30 minutes to at least be like, hey, let me show you what I've found about this. This is crazy. They, they were never truly your friend anyways. Whether they were or weren't, you know, maybe they thought they were, maybe you thought they were, but somebody that won't even give you that amount of time. And what's even worse is... When you, you know, they actually do take that amount of time and they do listen. And in no way will they let themselves go, okay, maybe I've been lied to or maybe I was wrong. They literally go into a defensive mode when you've literally shown them complete proof. You you come to realize, like, who your true friends are. And, you know, it just... I've come to realize, you know, I, I understand we're not supposed to love anything in this world, and I know that sounds crazy, and I know that's horrible, but we're really not, and, you know, every day that goes by, I love less and less of this world, because, you know, I've come to find many things that I love, and I always thought that was something to cherish, and I still do think that it is, because there's the only, the most important thing in this world is love, because, you know, the Lord of this world, Satan, I promise you, he hates that. More than anything, he hates that we have love in this world. Because the only thing that he wants out of us is to have greed and hate each other. He thrives off of this. And when you come to have love in a world that we're, you know, not even supposed to love, you know, not not to say, you know, I'm not telling nobody to, not, like, no way am I saying don't love anything. But when you come to find love in this freaking world that he has made so corrupt, and I mean true love, not love because I got a Ferrari, not love because I got the hottest bitch in the world, not love because, oh my God, she's got fake boobies. Woo! You know, it's when you find true love of just this life. And I, 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 we're not supposed to love this life. I know this. But when you come to the point to where you've broken yourself, that you've truly just broken everything that you were of what you thought this world was, and you've, you've fallen down on your face... And found that this world is not run by the Lord that we thought or what we thought. But it is run by the God of this world. What we've been taught. But what we've been taught, you know, no matter what, you gotta, the Bible tells you so much truth. And, but never forget man has corrupted it. But they have never, and not man, but Satan and man have corrupted it, but never forget the truth that is in there, that, it ha that is to be found in it. I will never tell you not to read the Bible. I will never tell you that the Bible is a lie, but the Bible is a lie, and the Bible is the truth. There is no other book in this world that will ever give you more truth and understanding than it will, but at the same time, it will lie to you. And if you don't have the eyes to see and the mind to understand and the heart to care you will never come 
to ever see it for what it is. And I promise all of you, once you start to see the lies, once you start to come to see the understanding of everything, and whatever that first big lie is to you, that's yours. But once you get that first big lie, you are like, holy crap. And once you have the eyes to see, which I'm sure most of you that are watching my video do, but for anyone that, you know, is watching this video that doesn't, I, I beg you, anything that you think, especially people like truthers, this, that, and other thing, do your own damn research and come to, once you come to find the biggest lie that you've ever been freaking lied to about your whole life and you see everybody else around you believes, it's... I, I call it the moment of curling up into a bowl and crying for about three days. Not to say that I did that, but I kind of felt like doing that. <laughs> and I'm not really a crier. Um, because you have no idea how you're ever going to explain it to anybody that you love and that you care about. You sit there and you're just like, how will I, like, how will I ever explain this? How, like, I understand how I came to find this, this, that, the other thing. But how in the hell am I ever going to get anybody to believe this? When we've been taught this, you know, 20, 30, 40 years of our lives, depending on how old you are. And, you know, it's just a crazy proposition to be like, wow, I've come to find the truth. I've opened my eyes and I'm awake. How do I wake others? And at the same time, I can't go back to sleep. You know, I almost wonder, you know, I, I really do think there are a lot of people that come to see somewhat truth. Like, they literally stuck their head down the rabbit hole, but they left their legs sitting at the top. And got scared and pulled themselves back up. And there's other of us that kind of just cannonballed down into the fucking hole and said, let's go. And then got halfway through and was like, holy crap, this is almost more than I can handle. And you get a little bit stuck and you want to go back to sleep. And then you realize, I can't go back to sleep. There is no going back to sleep. And then you continue yourself down the rabbit hole. And you get so much farther down the rabbit hole and you can't even believe you haven't even hit the end yet. And then you think that you've come to the, almost the, the understanding. And then you realize that it went off into two or three other different ways. And you had to go down one of those. And you got to that, to where you almost thought you had the understanding. And then you get to that point and you realize, holy crap, there's two or three other different ways and which way is the right way. Whether you choose the right way or not, that is the conundrum of going down the rabbit hole. And I did what I did to ask for all the knowledge and true knowledge of this world. And I got it. And whew, it was a... I, I can't deny it was a lot more, um, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. And I will admit it was a lot crazier and a lot more disturbing than I ever thought that it was. Not to say that I would ever go back. Well, I mean, especially how far that I've already gone. But even to say, uh, there's no way I'd ever go back and be asleep. And that is the problem, I promise you. When you have to stand in front of our Lord, our, our not the Lord. Yeah, you will stand in front of the Lord of this world, the God of this world, and you will stand in front of the true Father, our Father that is in heaven, our Father that is above. You will stand there, and you will be prosecuted by the God of this world. And he will sit there, and he will curse you, and he will do everything that he can to have you prosecuted for you not listening. And he will tell. And he will say. Look I told him the truth. Look I showed him the way. Look I gave it to him right in front of his eyes. And they did not listen. 
I mean, think think of the things that they show us in movies. I'm not saying everything they show you in movies and TV and all that shit is real, but trust me, if you have the eyes to see, you see the truth that they're telling you, and you see how they're mocking you and putting it right in front of our faces. And it is so irritating to sit there and watch a show, and like TV has done nothing. TV is nothing but to dumb you down. You have to watch it with a discerning eye. The hardest part is, you know, your family or your loved ones or whoever you're watching it with, you're sitting there going, that's Luciferian, that's rapist, that's this, that's that, blah, 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 blah. And um, they're looking at you like there's a dick growing out of your forehead because they don't have the eyes to see yet. And who knows if they ever will. But, you know, it's hard to even enjoy something like that with the ones that you love after you've, you know, been awakened. And, you know, the most, I think the most painful thing, because I almost wonder, like, is that like our own form of our own hell? Is that we sit there and we see how the world, like, the world's on fire. You know what I mean? You're watching the world burn this, that, the other thing. And that, I mean, that is what we're doing. I mean, we're, we're literally watching the world burn. Um, the world is a vampire. Blah, blah, blah. You know, when you sit and you see that and you understand that nobody around you even gets it. And they're just like, man, just let loose. Let it go. Fucking who cares? And it's like, man. Don't you understand one day you will sit in front of the Father and Lucifer will be sitting there, the God of this world, saying, I showed you in every single way. And what are you going to say? Well, I didn't see it. I didn't realize it and I didn't notice it. Well, I put it in front of you in every TV show and every fucking movie in one way or another. I pretty much called it out in every single freaking way. And you still didn't listen? What are you going to say to the Father? I mean, I, I've already, I've already recognized myself that I'm, I'm going to hell, and that's not because I truly believe or want to go to hell. That's the last place I want to go in the freaking world. But I have come to realize that you know the Father, the true Father, He knows where I'm supposed to go, and I don't want to do. And I know we're supposed to be fearful. I really do, and I know that's supposed to make our judgments or whatever, but I know there's something different for me that I'm not supposed to be fearful of that. I'm just supposed to be who I am because I am. And uh, there, I, I know it sounds weird to say I've just recognized myself that I'm just going to hell. It's not that I want that. I know it sounds very weird, but... It's not that. It's I, I, I cannot fear that because I know who I am because he is. I've been put here. We've all been put here for a reason or we were put here because we did something wrong or we decided to come here. I do not. I know not. But I know that I will not be fearful of where I'm supposed to go, even though I, you know, I'm sure I'm supposed to. And you should be. Everybody should be fearful of where they're going to go. I That is the one thing, and I mean, you should, but there is something about me that I'm not fearful of where I'm going to go because the only thing that I ever asked, and I, 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 I've done some messed up things, but the only thing that I've ever asked was to please let me save as many of the people that I love. And the saddest thing is, I I don't even know that I'm ever going to save anybody that's close around me. I I really hope for for my grandbabies. I I hope that I'll save them. I, I, but who knows what what time there is left. But more than anything, like I know that the people that I've reached out to, you that listen, everybody, and you know. I know one way or another, I think that I've helped somebody get upon their path, upon the right path that they need to be, and that I've helped. 
And that's all I've ever asked for or ever wanted. And I think that's why I've kind of just recited, resided myself to be whatever it will be. As long as I've given or helped one person, and I already know that I have. I already, you know, trolled some dude that was talking about leaving your blood in the tent and, you know, leaving your blood on a blood contract and uploading it to the fucking internet. Freaking dick is telling somebody a freaking 98% truth and then fucking the last 2% he's getting you to sell your soul soul to the devil and upload it to the black devil fucking mirror. And I had a girl hit me back and say, all my friends told me to look at this video and, you know, da 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 and then I'm looking through it and I was thinking about leaving the blood contract and I saw, I saw your comment. Like, don't, don't sell your soul. You can always do it tomorrow. Just don't do it. Think about it. And she clicked on my channel. And, I, you know, after trolling that, dude, I couldn't help it. I just literally had to make a video about it. And she watched my damn video. And she told me, thank you so much. Because if it wasn't for you, I'd have actually done it. And I'm going to tell all my friends that were telling me to go look at this. What was going on. Because who knows? This little girl... All of her friends might not have even have done it. They just, you know how it is. People, especially girls, can just be little bitches and see if they can get somebody else to do it and see what happens. So, I don't know if that's, you know, that was the case or whatever the heck. But I know, in that instant, of that girl just saying thank you so much, da 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 that literally right there, you know, at least I might have saved one soul right there. It made me feel like everything that I'd done for the past year and a half was worth it. Was, you know, was everything. I don't care how many hours you want to put into research or how many hours and that I put in throwing down videos, whatever. Everything at that moment was worth it. And that's when I recited or resided to understand, you know, if I go to hell, which trust me, I... My father that is in heaven, please, I, I, that's not where I want to go. I want to come to you and be, I want to kneel before you. But if somehow I saved one soul from going there and having that, I can't say that I'll burn in hell with a smile on my face. But at least if I burn in hell, I sure in the hell will be like, man, I'm sure and glad that I saved somebody else from coming and having this. And I, that's, I don't know, to me that's something. But more than anything, I'd, like I always say, you know, please make your own channel, make your own videos, spread what truth that you have. Because one day we, you will stand in front of the Father. And I, it hurts my heart because I know I'm not going to be able to say, I blew the trumpets as loud as I could. Because I've only begun to start to blow the trumpets. I've only begun to start to know. And I know that I, I, I've gone farther and lost more family and more friends, this, that, and other thing. But at the same time, I know I haven't blown the trumpets as loud as I could. I could be out on the side of the street with a fucking sign. You know, all sorts of stuff. I know that sounds crazy. But, you know, I, it, it's really crazy because... I don't know how I'm supposed to say it. I blew the trumpets as loud as I could, you know, because I don't think any of us will ever, maybe some of you, maybe, I hope one person that ever hears this and listens to it, I hope you will be one of those people that actually can look in, in the eyes and say that I blew the trumpets as loud as I could. And if I can at least get that, maybe I can burn in hell with a little bit of solace. I love you all, my brothers and sisters.